Hello, good day. So the question is, what are some natural remedies for adult ADHD, attention deficit hyperactive disorder? Uh, Dr. Peterman, what do you think about that? Well, thank you, Dave. It's certainly not the uh, standard medical model of methamphetamines used to uh, calm or distract the uh, excess noise that's generated in the brain. That's the standard medical model. We want to get away from that. So one of the things we can do is actually do a little curing or at least go that direction of healing rather than just subjecting the uh, the patient to uh, forms of uh, modification of their symptoms. So in this case, I will use and uh, suggest to my clients that we use two to four times as much vitamin B complex. Now, that said, one of the things you want to avoid is the niacin problem, because if you take large amounts of niacin, you're going to have niacin flush, and it almost feels like you've taken nitro for your heart. It feels like your head's going to explode. You turn bright red. That can be avoided if you take a vitamin B complex that has niacinamide, which is niacin that has had the the flush part of it removed. It's still full, fully effective niacin, but you don't have to worry about that intense flush, the reddening of the face and the pounding headache that lasts anywhere from five to 10 minutes. Of course, that isn't going to hurt you. It's just awful and comfortable. Nobody wants to have to go through that when there's a a natural alternative to that. Uh, Also, I would say that there is some physical intervention that you can use. Uh, I found that recommending to patients get more calming exercise, not going to the gym and seeing how many repetitions you can do or how how far you can walk on a, a stair climber, things like that. We're talking about calming types of, uh, of exercise, for example, going for a walk three or four times a week for 30 minutes, making sure your hydration is proper because a lot of these people that express large, uh, heavy symptoms of ADD or ADHD are actually dehydrated. And so you get concentration of materials in the body that floods from the brain and drives everybody, everything in the body crazy, you get less of that uh, taking effect because you have larger blood volume and more uh, fluid flowing in, in the body. I also suggest using a, a material called lithium orotate. And lithium orotate is, is a mineral. It's lithium in, a, in an orotate form, and that is not the lithium that is used by medical establishment for totally crazy people. It's it's not that. It's a very, very safe material. You can take anywhere from one to eight little tiny uh, pills of that, and it has a very, very nice calming effect, especially for somebody that has, uh, has a distractibility. Uh, it, it'll help with ADHD, but there... I think exercise, hydration, and all the other things that we do for ADD are absolutely much more effective. And I found that to be true in my practice. Uh, Have you heard of anything else that you would recommend? Well, I I had a question for you. Do you think that ADHD could be subjective to the individual based on what they have going on in their lives? or? Oh, there's so many things that contribute to it. I I used to know a man who... uh, this was 30 years ago. There's very little of that diagnosis made at that time, but he was one of the first people that I knew to be diagnosed a ADHD. And I really questioned it because at work, this man went through two pots of coffee a day. So was he ADHD or was he just <laughs> caffeinated to the gills? Uh, you know... I mean, that's that's even exceeding three monster drinks, you know, nowadays. Right. 
I mean, this guy was was glued, if you will, with with caffeine, and uh, he was all over the place. Uh, but they, true to form, they put him on a bunch of medication, and uh, he he drank his coffee, and we really couldn't get in contact with Frank anymore uh, on this planet. Uh, he eventually quit his job and went on and did something else, but he he literally couldn't function anymore because the uh, apparently the doctors never asked, are you drinking any coffee? Good Lord, I knew no one had drank that much coffee. <laughs> you know? That's a lot. Oh, my gosh. So there are so many factors that, that uh, influence what people just say, oh, it's this, or it's right. just a blanket... A blanket statement. One of the things I learned in medical school for naturopathic medicine is that everybody is different. Literally, everybody is different. And I've used this explanation in the past, but there was a young lady who was just bonkers. She was about uh, 17 years old. From the time she's 13 to, to 17, she was just, I mean, a crass way of putting it, she's just nuts. And uh, so they actually put her in a psychiatric hospital, and uh, this one naturopathic doctor uh, became friends with the family. He said, I, I want to try something with, with Betty. Let, let me try something with Betty. And so he tried giving her larger do doses of zinc. And this young lady virtually became normal after the first large dose of zinc. Nobody could believe it. I thought this is just really weird. So she was fine for several weeks or a month, and her parents went somewhere with her one day and forgot to bring the zinc, and they were gone for a couple of days. By the time they were ready to come back, this girl was Looney Tunes, and it was it was bad. So the father said, you know, uh, I think this stuff really works. Let's find out if it really is the zinc. So by the time they got home, this girl was seeing things and talking to people that weren't there. I mean, just totally out of it. Within 15 minutes of being administered, the amount of zinc that the naturopathic doctor had, had suggested, she was normal. So the naturopath made a medical mistake. He had another young lady who was having problems that he thought, well, this will work. And... Uh, so he gave her the same amount. Nothing happened. Not a thing. And he found out that this other girl took 10 times the amount of zinc to see or achieve the same results. And she was perfectly healthy. And neither amount was excessive in the sense that a, person, a normal person would get sick from that amount of zinc. But that proved to him more than anything that people are so radically different. And the old, the old phrase, what is, uh, is one man's pleasure is another man's poison. It's just about true with human beings. So, uh, I also use the example of how much water are you supposed to drink? Oh, that's eight glasses. Okay. The person is a hundred pounds, the person is 300 pounds. Give me a break. So that's basically what I have to offer with, uh, with ADD or ADHD. Those are a few suggestions. We'll have some more later on, but we, we'll give you these for now and uh, keep thinking about it, keep doing a little bit more research in this area and bring that to you at another time. Until next time, Dave and Jerry, wish you well. Be well.